Ayo, where are we? Um, I don't know. El Salvador? Um, no. No. Buenos dias from Casa de Mar Hotel, right in between Playa San Sal and Playa Tunco in coastal El Salvador. We came straight here after leaving our Airbnb in Los Naranjos on the Ruta de Flores. Muchas gracias. Is that our buddy down there going surf? We've been here about a week. Tell us what they give us for breakfast every day. Mm, they give us fruit, but they've been trying to give us those uh, bark fruits. And we say no to the papaya. But whole fruit. Whatever reason in our family, we just aren't into uh, papaya yet. They'll be able to grow on us. Club. We had originally anticipated to stay here for three nights and move on down the coast to another Airbnb, head to Sushi Toto, and finally Santa Tecla before returning. However, after arriving here and spending our first three nights here, we decided to cancel the rest of the accommodations for this trip. And we extended our stay here at this hotel. Oh, you want me to go in the water with you? Yeah. Happened here, Ari. How'd you get it? Arriba. Arriba. On the stairs, you got a splinter. What is it? Chicken. You are ridiculous. Why is there by some these chickens here? Why? I know why. Hi. You got the chicken? You got the chicken boy? Who's the new my pollo asado? decided that going to places like Suchi Toto that are inland and where the draw is more colonial architecture, beautiful churches rather than natural play and being outside um, just didn't really suit our family's needs on this trip. Atlas and I were having so much fun playing here in the pool and the ocean so that was a big part in us canceling the rest of those accommodations. They're like, they're like wild raccoons. Daddy, 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 daddy. Not right now. Daddy, 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 daddy. Boys. Daddy. No. Not right now. I will. I know I have to share them. I always share. Can you surf on the tortuga? Uh, no. 
Can I push you out to sea? Yeah. What are you eating? Stop eating all the snacks. He's taking 20 from me. What? I'll booty cam. I need though. to make friends from lots of different countries. Lots of people spoke English, we made buddies that we could hang out with every day, and it just really felt like a sense of community. That's I all peeing on the shore.
the ocean to break my beautiful heart. Originally, I had made the reservation for three nights uh, through Hotels.com. I paid $250 a night for two queen beds, a couch, and our room actually had a private pool attached to it. Um, we weren't able to stay in that room because I extended the reservation here and because it is a holiday, most of the property was booked, so we did have to move a couple times. Our secondary room had one queen bed and one couch bed, and then the room we stayed in here for our last two nights was two queen beds and a couch bed. And I think for the last two nights, without booking through Hotels.com, I paid $177 per night. Now this includes a, a daily local breakfast for two people. So there's four of us, so we have to pay for our kids' breakfast, but um, the breakfast for Scott and I has been included. And it's like a typical breakfast. They have eggs, beans, plantains, um, just very typical for El Salvador. You guys are animals. You don't stop. Special and she reckless. And babe, you're my bestest friend. Yeah, she my bestie. My love for you is endless. Nobody else can end it. And when I get the money back, then baby girl, you can spend it. Oh. And everything is alright. I like how you're doing alright, alright. Like how you think alright. Always on top of you. Yeah. Oh. I tell him he should exercise. Push up. He can avoid you with some herpes. Okay, I'm gonna get Alice and you a flip right now. No, you're not. Come on. I love you, and then do a flip. I thought I said no flip. I love you. No, I got your back all the way. And everything is alright. I like how you're doing alright, alright. Like how you think. We tried surfing here. I didn't get a lot of GoPro while we were out surfing just because it was far too dangerous. We didn't have a proper mount to put it on the surfboard. And you really have to pay attention. These waves are big this time of year. This is supposed to be mellow wave season. But that doesn't mean there's not 10 foot waves, you know, and for newbies like us, it's pretty intimidating. people out there first thing in the morning surfing right out here in front of our hotel that we were nervous just as newbies to like crash into another person you know we're not scared to get like pummeled by the way we can swim and we can you know handle most of that not too worried about like damaging the board or getting hurt ourselves but the idea of like not knowing the etiquette and crashing into somebody or just being in the wrong place and, and someone else crashing into us somebody actually did crash into me the other day while I was out there surfing and it kind of freaked me out for the rest of the trip as far as surfing goes We've been hanging out with some friends who are excellent surfers, 11-year-old Oscar from Montauk, New York, who has been uh, our kid's new best friend, and his dad Lars and mom Annabelle. They are all like incredible surfers. The dad's from Germany, the mom's from South Africa, and they live in like a little surf town in New York. Kind of random, but our kids have like loved learning and, and playing with them this week.
jump like dolphins. I think I'm in shape at home. I just am exhausted right now. It is so hard to keep paddling and getting rolled and rolled and rolled. But this kid's a beast with his war paint on his face. He dominates the ocean. Her nose. Oh, jump, 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 jump. Oh. Ah! Ah! You're jumping me! Dang, so, 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 so. And we actually did rebook our flights home from January 6th to today, January 1st. We're going home five days early, unfortunately, to a blizzard. But we have been traveling for over five weeks now, and we are ready to just take a chill pill for a couple weeks before we go out on our next adventure. So I want to keep it real with y'all. We do get tired and exhausted on the road, just like everybody else. And after five weeks of travel, we are ready to go chill. So we are returning home five days early. Um, I look forward to seeing y'all in the next video. You guys, what are we doing? I just, I just have the same color sword as me on him. What are we doing today? Going back home. Back home where? Don't tell them. Go back to the snow. No, no, no. Does it smell like a pusaria? Can you smell what the pusaria is cooking? My mouth is watering right now. Gracias. Oh, she's like, why are you dancing? You want sauce and cabbage on yours? No. I don't like all the stuff on it. You sure you don't want it? Yeah. Oh, what fun is what today? Hey. You're feeling the spirit. Keep living life outside the box.